Hey, how's going on everybody? I hope you all are doing good. And in this video, we are going to use the strategy of learning by creating. So we are going to learn Kotlin and Android Studio. And we are going to go through the basics. And at the end of the day, we are going to create the app. So let's get started. So as you can see on the screen, we will be going to create this app. And in the input field, whatever name you enter, like programming okay so whatever name you enter and press the button you're going to say hey programming all right so it is it is a basic app actually but at the end of the day it will going to leave some knowledge with you so let's start the video all right so i hope you all have installed android studio in your pc if not you can just directly uh, download the package and click on next 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 and if you have any error during the installation you can also reference to so many youtube videos which are already available on youtube if still error persists you can ask from down comment section or from discord or you can ask from my linkedin profile so let's get started okay so if you have installed android studio you have to click on start a new android studio project and from there choose empty activity click next and a language you are, you are going to choose is kotlin not java and the app name let's say basic app you can name whatever you want and you can click on finish based on your computer speed you're going to take the time whatever required by it okay so now we are in this uh, but first you have to wait for some time until this process has been finished right so you have to wait a lot for this all right all right so everything is now finished uh, but first I just want to take you through a uh, basic structure of this Android Studio. Over here you have two files open by default one is .xml and another is .kt which is .kotlin and this is the backend part of your application and this is the frontend uh, front uh, part of your application. If by chance you have closed both of these so how do you open them again? So if you go to the left side in your project you can click on this and then uh, you can from here select android and open the app then java and then com.example.basicapp and double click on this main activity you would have your backend part again uh, what about xml you can click on uh, res which stands for resources then layout and then activity main.xml we have our files opened again now as i as i have already told you this is the front end part and this is the backend part so what is front end front end is the gui of your app the user going to interact with gui and the functionality which your app going to provide is this main activity dot kt i hope this makes sense now you can uh, click on this uh, hello world and click on delete button to delete any any view button you have placed on the screen or not okay so uh, as you have seen the intro we are going to have a uh, input field and then button and then text view so you can come on this palette section uh, in the left side of the screen and you can search for whatever you want to so also you can uh, navigate by using this common text button so we can go to text and we first want plain text input so we can click on this yes yeah, something like this and then we go we can go to common and we want this button all right and now we want text view something like this okay so this is the front end part really simple so we don't want to do really complex so uh, if you run your run your app like this it will going to place all these elements uh, to the zero zero position of your screen which is top left so you have to apply the constraints so you can click on this circle and hold your button and you can uh, take to the top of the screen and leave the button and similarly you can hold this down button and take up to this button and leave the button and similarly do for left and right if you do something like this your uh, name field will have the constraints and it will have the exact location your location you have placed it over here similarly do the same for button left and then right and then bottom and similarly do for text view all right so here we go let's place this button in the center all right now if you are satisfied with the layout you can also change these positions if you want to uh, i want this in center and if you go to right section in the layout part you can also use them to move around your uh, input field button and whatever you are using also you can uh, scale them if you want to let's scale this text view a little bit 
yeah okay so i now i want to talk about id so if you click on this uh, input field and go to right part and over here you can see id right so this is the id with which we are going to use in our code so you can name this any what you want so as an example i want this to be named as edit text if i click enter now this has id of edit text you can also this uh, use this search icon to search for parameters like if i want to change the hint text then i can say enter something and then click enter also you can use text and over here text is name i want nothing over here all right so it will look something like this also you can search for attributes for button like if i want to change the color of the text i can search for color color and then text color for now let's just say red color and over here you can see that and if you want to change the font size of this text view you can search for that you can say size and over here it says text size right so you can say we want 24 sp size if i click enter then the text size should have been increased similarly i want to change the hint text so i can say hint and i can say not hint text actually text so we can say text and where it says text view so we can say enter something and click button all right so now text view should be something like this all right so this is it for front end part so you can uh, add so many functionalities like you can have more button uh, image view and then scroll view switch there are a lot of so i can't cover all of them in the one video but these are the things which you are going to use a lot of times okay so this is for front end part let's go to back end part all right so currently we are in our back end part but first i just want to talk about what is the functionality so as i already told you like user will going to enter some text in this field and press will press this button so we will click on this button and if i get out of this layout common attributes then you can see over here it has also attribute called on click so whenever the user presses this button it will going to use this on click attribute and going to call whatever function we pass in over here so for example let's say click button we haven't defined any function with named click button yet but we are going to so we are saying whenever user presses this button we are going to call click button function which we are going to define it over here so let's get out of this uh, old function which says fun create will create new function let's say it's of type public public it means anyone can use this function all over the class so we say public and then uh, we have to say fun which is short form for function so you have to use fun fun and the name we choose was click button and the parameter is view of type view okay so if you are getting a red uh, color view over here so you can come on over here and click alt plus enter and then you have to import so this red color error should have been removed by now and we can go back to dot xml and uh we can see this uh red red color outline was is now blue color so it means it has detected click button function so now whatever we define over here it is going to do when we press button on the screen one more thing i want to show you okay so if we go back to dot xml and we click on this and the id is edit text so if you want to take the text from this edit text id it is really easy you have to create a new variable and by for creating a variable you have to say var v a r where whatever it is so we you have to say where and you have to name the variable you want so let's say where str right and it's of type string you can define it by saying colon string and it is equals to edit text dot get text okay so if you run this like this you are going to get an error and it says required string but found editable so you have to convert this to string so for converting converting this to string you have to say dot to capital s string so now the error should have been removed so now we have a variable called str and we have the text whatever the text user have placed in this so now we can say set text function so once the once the user enters something in this screen and presses this button we are going to call this which is text view so we can say text view dot text and in this we have to pass this str okay so it is text view dot set text right so in this you have to pass in string make sure it is string if it is integer you can 
again use to string to convert that to string so our app has been created believe it or not this is it for the coding part and this is it for the front end part over here you are seeing that we have this red icon which says we haven't uh, aligned this horizontally so let's align that align it vertically so let's do that okay let's try running this again so we are back on the screen and you can see we have our layout perfectly on the screen and let's say uh programming and let's click on button and you can say uh, and you can see that the text has been changed all right so also you can do a lot of cool stuff so you can also add this hey and then plus so it is going to say hey programming so you can uh, create calculator using this basic knowledge so that you will have a lot of buttons so you can get the text from the button or from the input field whatever the input field user have entered uh, i have a quick homework for you actually all right so here is the app uh, if i press 12 and 13 and click on button it will going to give me the sum which is 25 in the middle of both the field so a uh, hint for that would be if you go to this left side and you can see that we have number input field also so you can use this uh well i don't think it is that hard problem you can easily do that and this is it for this video and if you want more similar type of videos you can ask me from down comment section i will surely going to make some more apps using kotlin and android studio that's it see you in the next video